I'm just not used to it. Okay, this might be our our uh, thirty minute game here, Warrior Mirror. I'm running a hybrid version for my war. I haven't had good results, <laughs> so whatever that means. Just been losing, that's the way. I'm gonna try to draw a lot, because we have Archivist plus Belfull. We've never really lose the fatigue, I just want to hit Boom early. So I'm actually just playing on Aqua here. I think best time to play Aqua is my choice to three for the stack. Late game it's kind of more awkward when your hand is getting full. Hand size just keeps increasing in this matchup, right? Since most of the stuff's reactive. I don't even mind if we only draw one card. Okay, so let's see. Charges this. Is it better just hero power than shield block hero power? Technically it's a small optimization. I don't think I'm really looking for any answers, even if he plays out a rush minion here. It's such a slow matchup. Defend the gates. Yeah, I don't really mind drawing one card with that in this matchup. It's actually pretty decent. Standing abroad in Shanghai. Oh, that sounds fun. I've I've been there a couple times. I oh, like the food. I think it's my favorite part of China is the food. That is an answer. We're not really like trying to win off of bombs. It just gives him like the weapons project play. But I mean we kill it, that's what's important. Oh you know what? It might be good to play early wrench caliber because he's gonna think I'm a bomb where <laughs> and really I'm not a bomb where I don't know if it'll ever like make him play bad. Like say he's a control where he might go all in on draw and then lose the fatigue somehow. Who thinks I'm bomb? Oh, that's interesting to think about. What now? That belongs in a museum. If we don't kill Harrison, we kill this. The problem is Harrison just takes the value trade. Although we can weapons project the Harrison. What now? If it's at two health, I think I like Defend that. The gates. To me. Grom is here for surprise burst, so it's kind of same as Wrench Caliber, but it's it's mostly so we can emulate a bomb warrior with some of its good matchups without fully committing, so we don't lose the mirrors. Because bomb is really bad against control warrior. It's like if someone goes chef no me, we can you know, do some stuff. What's better, Grom or Warpaz? Both reasonable. Grom almost is dead after trading for Harrison. I think if we play for value, um, 
Actually, it's just gonna die to Shield Slam or something later. It could hit face, but that doesn't matter in a Valley Grind. I guess we're fast. It's actually very close. It's because Warpaz is a little bit more situational in this hand. This match we might have hand size problems. I can always play Grom or Rage, whereas I can't always play Warpaz. It might be a time where I have to just play Warpaz and hear a power just like to dump it. And then at that point, you know, we're just making a horrible mistake if we do Grom here over Warpaz. He can just coin. He doesn't want to play a card. It's not important in this matchup. He might even just be dumping Warpaz out soon. I think we don't play anything, so he can't dump his cards out on our units like Shield Slam or something. Yeah, this is a really good dump. I forgot he, he was on 10 cards. It's really bad to play Grom last turn because he has hand size problems right now. It's like we both don't have Odin. Unity, precision, perfection. I'll just kill this over two times. I still don't have any units for him to like shield slam or anything like that. So he still has hand size problems. That's more of a problem for the next turn because he can always coin here. I don't think we want to take damage. It's too weird. I think we just give up the hand size thing for now. Gotta give this thing off. Gives him a shield slam here. Yeah, Belfull is solely for this matchup. He's going for a win, we're going for a draw, I guess, behind. So I just shouldn't go for face. This would be a good time for a master plan. I would prefer to not play any mechs until I would get boom because they're going to be less value. He's going to be able to get all the value trades. So we'll see what he does to pressure me, but I don't want to be the one playing out my mechs. I could just attack and enter rage. Oh, I should play this. Uh, I don't. I don't have to come back out. Oh, 
It's more value to uh, do five damage here. I can also still win this game. It's it's just I need to. The armor doesn't really matter if someone's winning like on turn seventy. Eventually, someone's gonna outvalue the other person. So I just want to hold on max still. play something without too much. Probably Zilliax here. Oh, I gave him the dynamic. Yeah, I should have just left up this guy. I guess I was scared of magnetic on that guy. I don't know if that's right. This game is going to go to turn limit more more often than not. I probably won't die before. Welcome back, Strife Girl. Thank you, it's good to be back. I still have Brawl's Warpath. We're, so since we're playing Defender, uh, Brawl's Warpaths are really good. Oh, I can't even kill that with the Mega. We need boom, so we rush it a little bit. That's how I should have kept the guy. This plus two warp has. That's so wasteful. If he goes wide, then he's weak to brawl. I don't think he's gonna wanna wanna keep going wide here. This would be and we have it set up to for the devastator, because we did two damage just so I did this play. To get both like if I just Omega Devastator Warpaz, the problem is then I don't get the value on my Acolyte of Pain. I actually kinda wanted to draw, because with the Baleful Banker Archivist. We will still like not go to fatigue. We'll we'll draw around those turns after we play like the ten archivist cards. I mean the twenty archivist cards. So I could draw a little bit since I really am desperate for boom. Yeah, I was I quit during the when it got really stale. It was like really polarized matchup, and also I was uh, the decks didn't change. It was like the same decks, like even odd or whatever. That's what I thought.
Should we hold off one turn? We're taking eight. I think we need to worry about tempo. I'm so if we do this, then it keeps tempoing us. We don't have the boom developed. Given your health, this is not going to be a fatigue game. You don't understand, there's not going to be any fatigue damage this game. Because of Archivist Billful Banker. It doesn't matter what my health is. It only matters who has the last minion standing in a value war. Like, no one's actually going to take fatigue damage. It's not like the standard fatigue games of the past because of Archivist. I mean, because of Elysiana. I was playing Overwatch, um, Auto Chess, Magic Gathering. What? That's aggressive. Oh, that is aggressive. What is that play? person for a living. I mean, kind of. Super Clatter isn't that popular anymore. It's it's just, let's see. It was like an auto-include back in the Baku Warrior days because you could get so much armor so you can collide into stuff more. Nowadays, like, armor is more of a luxury and it's there's not a lot of matchups as good. It's only good against Mage. Project here, can we kill? Okay, I'm gonna shield slam, we can save my health a little bit. Let's get the armor. Probably not the best order, but whatever. Right, I mean, yeah, you can run one, but it's just whether the question is if one is the right number or zero. Most people say zero. Hmm. It's certainly not unreasonable to play it, though. It's, it's like... It's okay, and it does have its good matchups, which is probably just mage. It's not the worst in its bad matchups, but it, there's also a lot of weapon removal in this meta too, so it's another reason for it not to be great. Like I just removed his. His is actually pretty good to kill that, but I'm just gonna dump four pants. We can't play Lissiana here. Our last two cards are Omega Assemblies. We have to wait next turn. Alright, next turn I go, Archivist Bill. There's one more project. I've been swinging just because of that. I was playing Artifact for a while too. Artifact was pretty fun. 
it was kind of too like not enough people liked it <laughs> except like really hardcore card players okay, even then, then it, it does kind of get boring 50 50 oh for the bomb if i didn't draw a bomb i could argue this other way it's oh, it doesn't really matter too bad I can't play this. It's the best hero power in this game, but... I keep trying to mill him. He's low value. Let's get this as a high value card. No bombs, but we can discover. We only have one more discover for it. It's just bigger. Oh, I love that new thing. Stash that away. I'm almost out of cards. I also have another Archivist, so maybe we can hold our Blast Master Boom and try to find more bomb cards later. I guess we can get bomb cards here and bomb cards from Discover. Hmm. I actually have Boom Reverse. That makes me getting Blast Master Boom good because I can Boom Boom Reaver the Blast Master Boom gives me a seven seven instead of a four three. So even that's good. Why do you still play as Mechthun? Because he's not Mechthun. <laughs> For a master plan. He doesn't have to wait to remove the minions for one fatigue damage. But it is nice that I have a board into his Archivist Elysiana turn. Which just means he probably just takes this the damage. Would be a good time for a master it's my guess. He might just take the fatigue and I don't know. It's possible. We'll see what it does. Personally, I would just go for it. He has plenty of life to work with. Oh, I love that new thing. Oh. Looks like he is waiting. No, well, that could clearly is better in the mirror. would be a good time for a master plan. That's weird. I have to play something. I'll probably just play this. Okay then. Oh, 
wonder if he is Mega Doom. This line doesn't make too much sense otherwise. This would be a good time for a master plan. This would be a good time for a master plan. Ruin, despair, destruction. What makes you think it wasn't? Well, it's because it's playing controller, same cards. It's running two Omega assemblies. This would be a good time for a master plan. Okay, then. This would be a good time for a master plan. This storm deserves a new <laughs> It's Archivist. This is trolling me. My theory is he doesn't have Billful Banker, and he was trying to play mind games with me by not playing it on fatigue turn. Huh. Failure is an option. Yeah, that that I mean, I'm almost sure that was what it was. He's actually just archivist of no build for banker deck, and he was trying to confuse me because he thought that was the only way he would win. Like it didn't look like a mecha thin deck to me. 